everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth. I've got a Tiffin Allegro Open Road, 34 PA, four slides. This is essentially a bus floor plan on a gas coach. Let's check it out. Let's have a look at this guy. We're 36 feet long. I've got, this unit is in sunlit sand, full body paint. A Couple things to point off right off the bat. We have a 252 inch wheelbase. That's significant because it really improves the ride of this coach. We're in a 7.3 liter V8 engine instead of the V10. Now we have the V8 engines, which are exceedingly popular. Long wheelbase, 252 inches. We've got over 200 cubic feet of storage underneath this too. That's a lot of storage when you look at all accessible from this side and the other side. How much you say? Let me show you. All right, let's have a look at the storage. Right beside here, now remember, this is the fun side. This is the patio side. This is the side you're gonna access all the time. I like that there's a lot of storage accessible from the patio side. Pass-through storage on the top, that's a great place to put lawn chairs and some skinny items. And larger items can go down here. Got our central vac system right there, which houses the bag, just like a residential vacuum cleaner. We have a fresh water holding tank here, so obviously no storage there. That's all taken up with fresh water. We have our propane bottle, but also pass-through storage on the top of this that goes all the way to the other side. Same drill here. This, this goes through the other side, but also I have a tray here that houses the batteries. So this is a lot more accessible location for batteries rather than older units, which were under the steps inside. You have your inverter master switch right here too. Okay, let's check out the storage on this side of the coach. Our first utility door here. We have a little bit of storage in here along with some breakers. They're all labeled, of course. Right here we have our, our hydraulic fluid and our linkage in here. A little bit of storage, not a ton of storage. Now we're getting into the opposite side of our pass-through storage here. These are two chairs that match those inside. They're folding chairs, obviously. And then you have your uh, hookups for your central vac system. Same drill on this side, larger items in front, smaller items pass through across to the other side there. Now this is your utility bay or wet bay as we often refer to it as. A couple things I like about this, this water pump is very accessible. If you ever need to do something maintenance related, it's right here. Also your whole house water filter is right here. Easy to get to. Can open up this to pass our hoses up through here and hook up to our waistline here. Everything's labeled nicely, takes the guesswork out of this. Have an outdoor shower, hot and cold. We have a light outside. We have power, so you can hook up a little cube heater in here if you want a little extra assurance in the winter that everything stays nice and toasty warm in here. Now remember, this is receiving heat in the winter when your furnace cycles on and off. It's pushing some heat in here. So you should be good anyway, but I like to put a little like 100, 200 watt cube heater right up there in the corner, just as a little extra insurance. And then moving to the back, we have our 7K Honan generator and additional storage pass through on the top here. And then in the very rear, we have our Magnum sine wave inverter. It's a 2000 pure sine wave inverter built-in surge guard over here and then this is where you're going to coil up your 50 amp power cord in here of course we have storage through the top now there's motion sensor lights everywhere so your hands are usually full when you're loading stuff in here those lights are conveniently popping on and off for you as needed okay let's go around to the other side and before we go inside the coach i want to point out one significant thing about this unit in particular it has liquid springs that's a huge feature really adds to the drivability and the ride quality of this unit. So let's take a peek underneath. Before we talk about the suspension, let me point out a couple more things on the exterior of this coach. Voila, we have a nice TV out here with a sound bar already mounted inside here. And I have USB ports. There's USB ports everywhere on this coach, but I also have them right here. So handy to pop this up watch TV on the patio side. This has got the Truma AquaGo on-demand water heater. And this is something else I love. 
This gives you access to the back of your residential refrigerator, including your water and ice in the door valve right here. So you can access this in the event of a maintenance issue without having to pull the refrigerator out from the inside. Really like that. Now let's peek, take a peek underneath at the liquid springs. What is liquid springs, you say? It's going to replace the rear suspension of this coach with a compressible silicone liquid. You'll have to Google it. We can put a link below if you want to learn more about it in a quick diagram. But essentially, we're dropping the existing suspension out and replacing it. It's not going to give you quite diesel pusher ride, but it's going to be a whole lot better than a standard gas chassis ride. So let's take a peek underneath. Okay, now we're looking under the back of this coach. Right here you see this cylinder. This is what houses the compressible silicone. And you see these big members on either side? This is from Liquid Springs. So we're replacing the existing suspension. It's the class suspension, they call it. C-L-A-S-S. -S. That's Compressible Liquid Adaptive Suspension System. I've got one on my own coach. It works great. I think you'll appreciate it once you drive one with it. All right, let's go up top. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 34 PA. Um, I have this coach personally in my driveway at home, so yeah, I'm a little bit partial to it, but I can tell you the reasons that we chose this floor plan specifically. We have opposing slides up in front here, and I also have opposing slides in the back. Anytime you get opposing slides, you get an enormous amount of room in here. I also liked, from our experience with other coaches, we didn't want a table and chairs or dinette in line with a sofa when you're always kind of looking over your left or right shoulder at your guests that are with you. We wanted one to be across from the other. So I can have a couple folks here visiting with a couple folks over there and it just makes for a comfortable atmosphere. I've got a TV here for a viewing angle from anywhere and there's a TV up front of the coach as well. So we can have these tuned in, obviously the same channel, same programming and depending on which angle is best for your viewing, um, you can utilize that. Um, lots of features in this, which is uh, usual with the Tiffin motorhome, um, but I'm gonna start at the front and work back. So let's start up in the cockpit here. Um, I don't know how Tiffin does it, but the seats are always incredibly comfortable. I can spend more time behind the wheel in a Tiffin captain's chair than I can any automobile we owned or ever have owned. Um, we can, I can go a good solid eight hours behind the steering wheel and not be super fatigued. So I can really appreciate that. Um, this is a kind of a classic Ford dash panel up here. Um, I've got our Kenwood Entertainment Center here. Uh, Bluetooth, of course, entertainment center and navigation built in. And then I have our camera system over here too. So I have a view straight behind the coach and on either side. So when you hit your right turn signal, you're gonna get a clear shot down the right side of the coach. It eliminates blind spots. Now, personally, I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit so we can see out the window. Personally, the first thing I do is look at the main mirror. The second thing I do is look at the concave mirror. And the third thing I do is look at the cameras. And then I know I've exhausted all possibilities and it's clear to change lanes. That's just my personal style, but whatever you're comfortable with. Um, so looking over here, we have our liquid springs control panel right here. You can adjust the height of this so you can actually kneel this coach. Say you're pulling out of a drive in a residential area and you're bound to scrape, you can actually lift the back end of the coach by a couple inches. You can also drop it in the event that you need, you have very little clearance in a garage or something. You can also change the ride quality between sport, normal, and comfort, depending on your style. Lots to get into with that. I won't uh, go into detail on this, but just know this is where you control it. Now I do have a power window optioned on this coach here. And then we of course have our generator start over here, map light, generator hours, coming around classic Ford panel. Again, we've got a 7.3 liter V8. Uh, all the reports, folks that have had this over the past year or so are loving the V8. Our auto leveling is right here. We've got our solar shade and night shade, so I can these are all power. I've got my nightshade and my solar shade underneath right there. And then, of course, our climate controls here. We have cup holders in the middle. And uh, 
Yeah, what am I forgetting? We can spin both of these chairs around so that then now we have additional living space and two comfortable chairs up in front here. Um, hopping over to the passenger side, my wife likes to put a little electric blanket here going down the road and keep her feet um, and legs warm, uh, but this is neat. This is a little work area. You can pull this out, a little storage area under here and have an area to you know, put a laptop, read a map or what have you. Can also control the map light here as well as the passenger fan up top. Speaking of up top, take a peek behind these doors. Um, I've got power up here, uh, USB connectivity and your spider control uh, hub right here. I have storage on either side and then over on the other side. We have awning controls, our Wi-Fi, powered Wi-Fi switch, and your Magnum inverter control assembly is right here. And just like the opposite side, we have storage here too. Now, moving back, uh, some improvements that I like over the past couple of years. Again, the batteries used to be under the steps. Now they're in a tray in the back. If you pop this top step out, there's just an open space in there for storage for some items that you might need just occasionally. I can drop this down so it's not glaring in the camera. But right inside the door here, we have our controls for main ceiling lights, floor lights, light master, and so on. So that's easy. So when you step up into the coach, it's eye level. It used to be down here. It's a lot easier right there. Little storage up top here. Now, moving into the really, really fun part of the, part of the unit. Again, we have opposing slides. This folds out into a really nice big bed. USB ports galore, as well as household current on either side. Storage across the top. Now we have a table and chairs here with lots of storage along the outside wall, but here's a neat thing, and this is an option. We have a little computer workstation. So I can drop this, put my keyboard, monitor, and if I want a printer down here on this. That's really handy. A lot of people work from home or you need to stay connected. It's a great place to turn this chair this way and have a little work area right there as well. Got a fireplace, so that's a fancy space heater, right? So it's nice to look at, um, but it also generates heat. So not only do we have heat pump up on top, I have a fireplace here that uh, does a nice job of knocking the chill off this coach on cool evenings. TV with a sound bar integrated. These are LG TVs. Um, I love LG TVs because they're super easy to mirror your phone. A couple clicks on your phone and or TV remote mirrors everything from your cell phone so you can stream programming that you already have on your phone through these TVs. Really like that. Now moving into the galley area, um, this is something new just in the past, I believe, two-year models, is this window above the galley. Look at all this natural light that comes in. Uh, I really, really like that. Don't have that on ours. Ours is a 2017-year model, so kudos to Tiffin for doing that. Solid surface countertops. This folds back to reveal a three-burner cooktop and a very nice-sized oven. Have storage underneath. Really nice cabinet build everywhere on Tiffin products. It just feels high-end, soft clothes all the way around. And there's little slots under here where you can put these matching sink covers for travel or when you're at your campsite, pop them in there and get them out of the way. This is your Truma on-demand hot water control. As I mentioned, we have a residential refrigerator. So this is an LG brand. So you have LG brand televisions and an LG brand refrigerator and a pull-out freezer compartment below. Super nice. Let me pop these out so we can get a view of the sink. All right, these can go down below. Nice high-rise residential style faucet very classy stainless steel again very very residential top to bottom uh, before we go back we can look at the spider controls right here this is the master controls that's going to give you information on the whole coach 
uh, from your lighting schemes to your thermostat, all of your motors, everything that you can uh, monitor, you can do it here. Um, real handy to do on this control panel. Um, this looks like a cabinet door, but this will reveal your, your breakers and fuses. You do have uh, power up behind here as well. Um, this is your central vac connection, so pop that hose in there. It'll reach from the front of the coach to the back. And nothing behind this door except our plumbing controls. So here's one another thing I like about this, we can have access to the bathroom from the bedroom or from the hallway if you have guests here. And it's very, very spacious. A nice size shower in here with a skylight. I'm six feet tall. I could be six feet five inches tall or more. Quite a bit more. Whew, that's really bright. I like that they put this in here so you can uh, cut the heat out and the light if you need to. But pretty spacious um, glass shower enclosure. Right here we have our washer and dryer units. Uh, the exact same ones we have in our coach and, uh, and we love it. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Um, little skinny little, I'm not exactly sure what you store in their compartment, but it's there, <laughs> all right? And uh, Tiffin does a nice job of utilizing every little bit of space for storage. Now, huge medicine cabinet area here. Um, I like this color and down below, more storage and drawers to the left here. GFI protected outlet behind the vanity here. And then moving back into the bedroom where we have a king bed. The bed itself is in a slide. And then this whole bath lavatory assembly is in a slide too. So all the way from the dry washer dryer to here is a slide. Really opens this up. So even at the foot of the bed, we have a lot of room here. Very spacious. This TV pulls out and angles to the head of the bed for a good viewing angle. Have your DVD player and your surround system, surround sound system is wired in here. And three relatively shallow um, drawers here. A lot of people wonder what this is. It's got your fan. It's kind of tricky to get out. You got your HDMI splitter and extender and some more linkage in here if you ever need to get in here. It's actually pretty neat considering the volume of wiring that's in here. So, now speaking of storage space, all this closet hanging space up above here, it's very nice. Each, uh, and, and then below, I can appreciate this. There's a clothes hamper. Let's see if I'll close this so you can see it a little bit better. We have a clothes hamper here and the bay of four drawers underneath, which are deeper than these over on the left. So four drawers there. And then as is often the case, we have a good bit of storage under the bed. These are on gas struts, so this stays up so you can access things under there. Either side of the bed, you have USB charging ports and reading lights above each side. And you can control the lights on the little touch panel there. Uh, shortcuts for your, your uh, you have a ceiling fan above the bed here. Um, we've got bedroom lighting, porch lighting, panel lighting. You can control those from over there. So you can see the USB uh, ports for charging your phones. This is great. This is the tiniest little compartment in the history of tiny compartments, but big enough for a bottle of water or a pair of glasses or whatever. Believe it or not, we actually use that quite a bit. Uh, every little space. And then this space above the top here is really nice. It goes all the way to the outside of the coach. Blankets, extra jackets if you're going into a cold climate. It's really handy to have that extra space. So again, we're in a 34 PA, 36 feet long, uh, four slides, opposing slides, lots of elbow room in this. If you got the occasional guest, you can turn that sofa into a bed and have the guests over. Whether or not you tell anybody that is your business. Hey, we're at Vaud RV. If you'd like to learn more about this coach, give us a call. We'll get you hooked up with one of our great sales staff. 
And you can always post a comment or a question below and we'll do our very best to answer it. And as always, I appreciate you clicking like and subscribe below. That way, the next time we post a video a lot like this, you'll be the first one to know. Again, my name is Mike at Vaught RV. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.